Hey guys, it's me Chris here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can basically make your PC um, a lot quieter. Now this is mainly down to the CPU fan guys, so I'm not going to be going into much more detail in uh, other components of the uh, computer itself. But yeah, like I said, today we're going to be fo focusing um, on the heatsink or CPU cooler as it's also known for. Um, so without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and step straight in. Alright guys, so before we actually start uh, taking a look at the BIOS utility, the first thing you want to know is actually um, getting a good heatsink. And if you don't have a good heatsink um, from the word go, um, and especially for what we're going to do today, um, if you go ahead and decrease the fan speed, you might lead um, into the CPU getting too hot, overheating, and just a lot of bad things. So I recommend going ahead and uh, getting a good heatsink, and the one I've got in mine is very very cheap it's a Zolman um, I actually can't remember the name now I'll link it in the description below I think it's only around 12 or 13 pounds so an actual absolute bargain and um, if you've already made your computer this one slots in real easy so yeah like I said I'll link that in the description below guys uh, but more now go ahead and uh, get started with the tutorial so the first step is for you to actually go ahead and turn off your computer so we'll just go on to our windows bit here and go shut down now we've done that, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you've got yourself a keyboard like we have here. You're also going to want to go ahead and get to your PC in reach. Um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just boot up your computer like so. You'll then want to go ahead and press this button here, which is F2. Um, just press it a few times. We'll just wait for the uh, monitor itself to just to kick in. And we'll now press it, as you can see it is telling us to do so. It's now booted up the ASUS um, BIOS utility and yeah, so the first thing you want to do um, is just go ahead here and go to exit or advanced mode. Click on this and go down to advanced mode. Now before we carry on, I'd just like to say this is for the ASUS BIOS utility, but if you have a different uh, motherboard or a different brand, it should be a very similar process. Now what you want to do here is just go through to uh, the monitor, monitor a bit here and click on that. Once you've done so, go ahead and start scrolling down. You'll then see something like this. Now, as you can see, you've got a variety of options. You've also got some monitoring a bit to the top here, which is telling us our CPU fan speed, our chassis fan speed, all that stuff there. Now, what we're looking at today is this bit here. Now, this is the uh, CPU fan profile, and that's what you want to be focusing on. So, if we just go ahead and click on this little tab here, which is currently at silent, um, yours will probably be at standard. Now, I changed mine to silent, and it has completely changed um, the way in which uh, the computer sounds. It sounds absolutely silent now, and I'm really, really happy. So just go ahead and change that to silent, or you can go to manual and change a few things yourself as well. But I recommend going to this setting, um, as I'm using the um, AMD 8350, um, CPU and it works absolutely fine. Um, I'm pretty get, pretty much getting the same um, temperature reading and everything. So yeah, that's really good. But like I said, if your CPU does start to overheat, make sure um, you go ahead and change that back, or you might start to uh, roll into some problems. So yeah, guys, once you've went ahead and done that, you can then just go up to the top here where it says exit. Click on this once, and then go down to where it says save changes and reset. Then go ahead and click yes, and it will now go ahead and reboot the computer, and it should put those new settings um, to the test. So yeah, guys, if you have any additional questions, please leave them in, please leave them in a comment below. Hopefully this, guys, um, did help you out. And if you have any additional questions, like I said, make sure you drop it below. If you also like this video, give it a like. That is always really appreciated. And um, yeah, big thanks for watching this video. And uh, this has been Chris, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.